guys, today I'm doing a spring haul. Um, this is mostly fashion, and then a couple of the random things I just picked up this week, so I just thought I would show it to you. It's not, other stuff isn't exactly spring-esque, you know, but whatever. Most of the stuff I got was from PacSun, because as you guys probably know, PacSun is like my favorite fashion or clothing store. Um, and I got some stuff last week, I got some stuff this week, I got some stuff yesterday. Um, so let's begin. First thing I picked up about two weeks ago from um, Paxson, the only thing without the tag, are these high-waisted shorts and I love them. Um, as you know, or if you watch my channel, you know I love high-waisted anything. Um, I think it just fits my body shape really, really nicely because I don't have many curves. Um, so I feel like when you hit me at my smallest point in my waist, it kind of makes my hips seem a little bit wider. I don't know if that even makes sense. But these are the bullhead um, hot short, that's what they're called. Um, they're just like really high waisted. They're like a blue color. They're kind of jean, but they're really, really stretchy. Mm -hmm. um, I have a pair of blue high waisted shorts, but they're like a really bright blue. They're from Hollister, and they're kind of, um, the bottom rolls up on them, and they get unrolled. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you buy those shorts, they're rolled at the bottom, and for some reason, every time you wash them, they get unrolled, and you have to like iron them down into the hassle. These aren't roll up, so um, I really, really like these. They fit me perfect too. They are in a zero, so. Yeah, I've gone up a size. No longer a double zero, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this I just got in the mail yesterday when I, cause I made an online purchase because there was like $1 free shipping, or $1 shipping with any order or whatever. And this shirt was like 6 bucks on like clearance or on sale or something, and is by the, by the brand Noli, which I really, really like. And it is an extra small, and it's just like a nice little cropped shirt. I just like that it's nice and plain. Like, I have a lot of like really like bright, colorful shirts for the summer, and like I really just wanted something like this. And it has a little black top, so it'll go with like everything. So that is nice. It is a teensy bit see through, but as long as I wear like a nude bra or something, we should be fine. Next is the I'm probably the most excited about, just because um, I've never owned anything like this before, and I've been looking at it since I saw it in the store about two months ago. But two months ago, it was like, I mean, it's still snowing now, but two months ago, I was like, no, it's not even close enough to spring to buy this. Like, there's no, absolutely no way I can get that. I looked at them, I must have seen them in the store at least six times, and they always had my size right on top, and I was like, okay, like, that has to be a sign, you know, like, when they have your size, and, like, I just kept not buying them because I was just like, I don't really need them and stuff. And then yesterday I went to the store because I got my purchase in the mail that I had ordered, and I ordered a pair of different pair of shorts, and they were not the right size, so I had to bring them and exchange them for the right size, and so when I went to go try on those shorts, I saw these, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get them. I'm going to try them on just to make sure, and I'm going to get them. And when I try these on, they fit me, literally, no joke, they fit me more perfect than any shorts I've ever tried on in my entire life fit me. So, I need to get them. And they are these. I love them so much. I have never worn anything like this ever. I have some printed jeans and like stuff like that, but they're all really like kind of just like brown and black. Or like I have one pair of like bright blue jeans and like I have a lot of like brighter shorts, I guess, like colored shorts for the summer that wear like with plainer tops, I guess, but nothing at all like this. Um, I love these. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw Tess Christine do like a crop top video with shorts like these, or maybe she was wearing a skirt or something sunflowered, and I really liked it. And I was like, oh, I cannot pull it off. Oh, you really can't. But this, I mean, these could go with like, what? a black shirt, white shirt, pretty much any kind of like kind of cleaner shirt. And these are the bullhead not your mom's mom short and they're in, also in a size zero and they literally fit me better than anything. I'm just so excited about these. Um, this is probably my most exciting thing. The next thing I got from back then is pretty boring but I really wanted something like it and it's just this kind of sweatshirt thing. It's kind of cropped but not exactly. I wore it with like normal jeans yesterday, not low rise but like normal rise jeans. And it fit pretty good. Um, it could have been a little bit longer, but I feel like um, this is going to be a sweatshirt that's kind of light. It's really, really soft. I mean, this sweatshirt is probably one of the softest sweatshirts I've ever owned. Um, but um, it's kind of light, though, so it's not, like, really heavy. So I feel like this is something that I could wear with shorts in the summer on, like, a cooler day or, like, in the evening or something like that. It's just, like, a dark gray with black, you know edges, I don't know, um, but it's really soft and it's kind of loose, but not too loose. So this could kind of be like a now and spring type thing, but this is the brand LA Hearts, which is another brand I love from Paxson. I pretty much love all the Paxson brands, to be honest. Um, I could even probably wear this with those sunflower shorts. I love creating outfits with new clothes. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> what? Next is a sweater, and this I just kind of picked up because um, I didn't really need it, and I wasn't like, oh my god, so in love with it, but why not? Um, this is just a blue cardigan, and it is from the brand LA Hearts. Um, it's just like a navy blue. It kind of looks brighter on camera than it really does. But um, it's a really nice blue. It's just long sleeves. I actually got it in a large because they only had medium and large. And I was like, you know, I kind of want a large, like, looser sweater. It's pretty thin, as you can tell. You can, like, see through it. Um, 
but I thought that this would be really cute for like now with leggings and a t-shirt or even in the summer with like jean shorts and a t-shirt you know like on those days where it's not super hot which you know is gonna be for like a week um but um it'll be cute for spring because it's still kind of like a winter color but it's a little bit brighter too so if I just pair it with like white and like jean shorts I feel like it'll look really cute okay so this is my last thing from PacSun um and these are the shorts I ordered that were I got them in a double zero just because these are normal jean shorts um they're like not stretchy at all they're like legit like regular jean um like back in the day you know Levi's kind of thing <clears throat> so I got double zero thinking that they're not going to be stretchy so I should get the smaller size because um, when I put my pants or jeans or whatever on, if I like get a size that fits me perfect sometimes um, and they're not stretchy, then they stretch out like after an hour of wearing them and then they're too big for the rest of the day and I have to wash them every single time I wear them and it's a big hassle. So I got double zero. I could hardly even get them up. I couldn't get them over my hips. I could hardly button them. And when I could button them and then I unbuttoned them, I was afraid I was going to like break them when I was trying to get them off. So I went to the store and I tried on the one, but it was too big, so I got the zero. Um, I also tried the zero one and it fits. Um, but I wanted a pair of high waisted jean shorts for so long. Now these, I know you look at them compared to like the mom shorts, like the sunflower ones. Those are much higher waisted, and I do prefer the ones that kind of go above my belly button. And these do not do that. They're just about like high rise, I'd say. And I love this color because it's kind of light, kind of dark. And I could even like pair, I could pair this with so many things. I wanted kind of ripped ones. I did see ones a while back at Airpestal, but they didn't have my size. So I got these, and they're also the Bullhead brand, and these fit me really, really well. I also like how they're not rolled up on the bottom because those, that just like bothered me because they get un unrolled every single time. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I really, really like these, and they fit me really well, and I can't wait to wear them. To, I can wear these with like, a cute like kind of a graphic tee with like a blazer which would make dress up a little bit I could wear it with like a really nice like kind of blouse in the summer um, and I love wearing high-waisted jeans like this pretty much like with everything um, these would be like my go-to jeans shorts this summer I'm really excited about them and then next is something um, I went to, so I went to the mall to get my iPod fixed yeah my iPod Nano like fourth generation and they couldn't fix it but I stopped off at Victoria's Secret because you know why not and I got a pair of pajamas and I have not owned a pair of Victoria's Secret pajamas like I've owned like sweatpants and stuff in the pink section before but I've never owned like the like adult like pajama sets and I've wanted one for so long and like all the Christmas ones I feel like are a little too like Christmassy and you could just wear them at Christmas time and I wanted one I could wear in the summer or in the spring or in I mean in the spring or the winter so that they're not too hot but they're not like too cold either and so I'm actually wearing the pants right now because I did not change when I woke up other than I put the sweater on so that you guys didn't know I was on pajamas but now I told you so let me show you these pajamas. Now, these pajamas were quite pricey about $52 which is insane for pajamas like insane literally that is craziness but I had a really great coupon like because I have all those like, emails and I have the Victoria's Secret like angels card and so I get all these rewards and stuff. It's like the button down kind of pajama and this one is like I don't know why I like this so much to be honest it's kind of just like a navy and white pinstriped and then the bottom is like horizontal stripes and this pocket is a horizontal stripe with a little vs and i love the like collar and it just like buttons down in the front and i'm wearing these pants right now um yeah and they're i, I love about these pants that they're long um and like they i mean i'm not tall i'm like five four but for some reason whenever i get my size things are really short because i guess they expect people as thin as me to be really really short and like i guess i'm pretty short but um I don't know, I guess some stores think that I should be shorter. I don't know. It's 100% cotton, so it's a kind of thin and, like, but it's warm. Like, I really, really, really find it really comfortable. It's breathable for the summer, um, and I just really like it. I mean, I will be wearing this all the time, and I think these are pajamas that I can actually keep for like, the rest of my life. Um, and the thing is, that I love that with pants that they actually fit me on my waist, and I tied them, and they didn't fall off or get untied. So that was really exciting. They fit me really, really nice, and I absolutely love these pajamas. Now on to the not fashion stuff, which if you don't like, then you can just you know, exit this video right now, but it's just a couple of things. Um, one is something that I already uploaded a video using, and it is the Walking the Red Carpet Palette by Wet n Wild. Um, it's a Wet n Wild Color Icon 6 Pan Palette, um, and it looks like this. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below, um, but whoa, I love this. I know a lot of people said they couldn't find this anywhere, and I don't think this is going to be the kind of palette like the... Um, comfort zone one that's just like at all the stores this is definitely like limited edition i really love this because it has this one neutral side and then a more gold side and i did the tutorial with the gold side it's like a natural gold look um like i said i'll link that below but these shadows are just as good as the normal wet and wild one and if you can find it i'd highly recommend picking it up because there's some really great mattes in here and usually the wet and wild doesn't have a lot of mattes 
Um, there's also some really great shimmers and glitters and stuff like that. And I got mine at Harmons. So if you don't have a Harmons near you, if you don't even know what Harmons is, if you're like from the other part of the country or something, just Google it and you can order stuff from there online. I'm not sure if they're going to have it on their website, but um, you can like see the store loc locator to see if there's one near you. Also, Harmons and Bed Bath & Beyond are owned by the same company. So sometimes Bed Bath & Beyond has the same types of things as Harmons does for the same prices. This was like $5 for 99 like the normal six pan palettes are. 8 pan palettes, I can't believe I keep saying 6, wow. Um, if you can find this, definitely pick it up because it was really worth it. I'm really, really liking it, maybe even more than the comfort zone. Just because there's some nice, like, more basic kind of colors, I guess, and I love gold, so that was great. Another product that I got probably the same time I got that, like a week ago, I guess, is uh, like something that's going to be my favorite video, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but it is a Batista dry shampoo in dark, deep brown. I don't even know what to say. Um, this is probably the best dry shampoo I've ever had in my entire life. I have talked of uh, the John Frito one, which I have discontinued, unfortunately. I still love that one. I love the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion one. But this one literally comes out brown. Like, if you can see right there, it's like brown. So don't get this on your face or like if you're wearing white clothes. Um, I mean, it's not a huge deal. It rubs right out. But, um, you know, be careful. Um, but what my favorite, probably my favorite thing about this is the smell. Oh my god. I love um, the smell. This smells so good. A lot of people say it smells like chocolate, and I don't know if it's chocolate or... I can't even describe it. This is like, if they had a perfume in this scent, I would buy it. <laughs> That's how much I love the smell. I almost want to just spray it even when my hair is clean, just because it smells so good. I had tried the original Batiste, by the way, so if you um, have tried that one and didn't like it, you will like this one, like the Defus. I'd recommend trying to check this out. You know, pick it up in the store, take the cap off, and sniff it, and then tell me you're not gonna buy it, because you will, you will buy it. Um, it just, it smells. I can't even. That's probably my favorite thing. Like I said, it just smells so good. I said I wasn't gonna talk about this a lot because it's in my favorites, but I changed my mind. I guess the last thing I got was from Bath and Body Works, and I know you guys are all like, ah, it's a candle, a spring candle, but. It's not. I was so close to getting, I think, Oceanside because it smelled really good, but I really want Poolside to come back out because I wanted that last year and I was like, ah, I would just wait until next year to get it. I don't really need it. I asked someone at the store and she said they might ever bring Poolside back. So that's really frustrating. Anyway, so it's not a candle. Um, even though they were having a 2 for 22 sale, but what I got is something that I've heard about on YouTube and it is the Sleep Aroma Bath and Works Aromatherapy body cream and it is in the sleep one and it is the vanilla lavender I, or lavender vanilla I didn't like the lavender chamomile I love chamomile tea but I just don't like the smell of it very much I got this is because as all you guys may know I use lavender essential oil like the real oil like from drugstore and stuff like that um, and I sprinkle that on my pillow at night to help me fall asleep um, and if you didn't know that you will see it in my get ready with me or like my nighttime routine video which will be up within the week, I guess, the next so two weeks. That's pretty much the idea of this. It's like the scent helps you to fall asleep, and it's aromatherapy, which I really, really enjoy. I kind of like all that kind of stuff. Um, and so what it says is relax before sleep, lavender essential oil, and vanilla absolute help calm feelings of stress. So you can see it do like this a lot. And it's not tested on animals, so that's great. And it has essential oils and other natural fragrances, so that's great. So definitely check that out. I know those last couple of things were not spring-related, but, um... I bought them and it's about to be spring, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so that is all the stuff I got. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just burped. That was really attractive. Okay, so, oh, one second, I got the text message. My hair is waved, which I think was a big mistake. Let me know if you guys like it. I'm really regretting it. But anyway.